Last time on the Space Between, we arrived in Key West just in time for it to close down. And in true Key West style, their timing was just a bit off. At 4 o'clock on St. Patrick's Day at an Irish bar? Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is the Space Between. Every single day, cause I love my occupation. And you made my future bright, so thankful for everything. Rejuvenating my inner light as I work hard for all I need. Open arms, embracing life, and all the which you gave me. I work it pays off, I'm happy now, it's paying me. Do the shit that loves it on a daily. Say you hate your job, but you'll never leave. Never leave, but that ain't gonna be me, that ain't gonna be me. My brother called me, I said he saw me on TV. The last time we were leaving Fort Lauderdale, headed for Key West, the world was starting to shut down due to COVID-19. Flash forward to June 1st, when we are leaving Fort Lauderdale to head to Key West, and <laughs> the world is gone mad, I don't know. Uh, yesterday, provisioning got caught up in a protest. Got a little dent on the new Tesla. Uh, Captain ain't so happy about. Um, so, once again, we're ready to get the heck out of Dodge. So here it is, June 1st, and we're getting ready to make up some of the charters that we lost back in May. Um, and all hell's broken loose here in Fort Lauderdale now. So I guess it's a good thing we're on a boat because we're out of here. Um, this protesting thing is just it's getting out of hand. They pulled in the National Guard and... And agitators turned their focus on local businesses. I was in the store when it happened. And I was in here while the while the stones were being hurled through. Rodney Eli owns the old Fort Lauderdale breakfast house on Hemershe. Three of his windows were broken after concrete crashed through. It was horrifically uh, scary. Those kind of protests don't do anybody any good. But anyway, um, boat's been cleaned, ready to go. I uh, took the dinghy down, tested the engines. Uh, that's pretty much it. We're, um, we're ready to rock and roll. Now our first set of guests, Bandy and Robert, were real troopers. They booked this over a year ago, and nothing was stopping them from relaxing and enjoying their time on the water. So without wasting any time, we set sail for Stadium down in Miami for the night. Face side from the other side. Bandy and Robert were a great set of guests, but what we didn't realize is that we had a stowaway on board. Yes, Norm the Gnome showed up. Although the weather wasn't the greatest, we still set sail for the Lower Keys to explore some of the out islands. We stayed real close to Picnic Island, so we figured I'd take Robert and Bandy over to meet Captain Jack and to explore the island. There, he can swim! Good job, Norm! <laughs> Picnic Island is a neat little place right between Ramrod and Newfound Harbor. People come and they put signs from where they've been. And Norm had to read them all, of course. Uh-oh. Norm joined the other side. Now he's a swinger. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! What you doing, honey? the waves are in the camera. It always looks like it's palm seed, but day in the life of a boat captain. It 
it broke. Of course it did. It was a little rough on the outside, so we took Robert and Bandy over to Bahia Honda so they could snorkel there. And while they were snorkeling... <laughs> so, generate... Whoa, there we go! That's it. That's... we got it. Whoa, now what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's this. You gotta close it. Close it, okay. <sighs> Camera between my legs. Eggs? I said, let me get the camera between my legs. Yeah. Close that off. Okay. All right. Push the gasket. Through. The gasket's there. And this goes it. like this. The gasket's not on the one screw hole. Mm -hmm. You got it? Okay. Is that right? So, I think these are made so that you can do this. I mean, the water's just going to go, oh shit, and get taken out by the bilge. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to need the hose to go on and rinse it on down. The hose is right there. So, would you like to tell me? Huh? Would you like to tell the kind people of YouTube that didn't catch the before? Well, I've been yelling at my poor northern lights because it can't stay running. And it can't stay running because it can't stay cool. So, let's see. Perfect. All right, when we first turned this on, it was a trickle. Now, it's a pour, and now I got, I guarantee that's the problem. All right. So let's get, um, let's get a hose in here so we can clean up, and I'm gonna reassemble. As long as it doesn't sail over the sailboats and catch them on fire. Right. May be burning. Yep, it it's burning. Yeah, it sure yeah. is. It's just burning that clear. Yeah. That's going to go under quick. Far, far away. It ain't burning no more. Yeah. I is saw, it? I saw a little flicker yeah. there. Yeah, it's still burning. Yeah. The video ain't going to show up because you can't really see it. It's burning so clear. Should have waited until it got a little darker. Oh, it feels so good out here. Yeah, the breeze was great. So after saying goodbye to my beloved pineapple, it was time to say goodbye to Bandy and Robert. They were a fun group, and we look forward to having them back again next time. And don't forget to tell the other folks what they missed out on. Off on an adventure. Stock Island Marine Village has these cool little Ar Ar Archimodos, Archimodo three-wheel vehicles. And uh, I will try not to drop my phone in the water. Um, and so we are going to try one out. Yep. And there's the place. How many do you have total? Um, we're like 12, we're at 12 now. We have a couple downtown too. Um, do you have a place to rent them downtown? We rent, we use hydrofilter like we're Oh, oh okay. Um, that's what we need. So after a quick tutorial on the Archimoto and all its systems, we headed on out and down to Key West. It was great to be able to see that some of the stores had already started to open back up and things were starting to get back to normal. A lot of construction was going on during this time, but what a better time to do construction than when you're having to close for a pandemic. However. There was quite a few shops and bars that had not reopened and that looked like they were probably not going to reopen. And no trip would be complete to Key West without stopping at Holly's favorite coffee place, the Cuban Coffee Queen. Oh, it's good to see the southernmost points open again. Yeah. And 
if Holly got to get her coffee, well, I had to have my pizza from Angelina's. You see that little thing? No. Oh, yeah, now I... What are our initial thoughts? It's fun. It's peppy. Um, I can see you getting around like one of the grocery stores because it's got storage up there and storage back here. But other than that, it, uh, it tops out at 28, and I think that's uh, a governor that's on it. But when you get past by a moped and a golf cart, and you're not even doing the speed limit of 35, it's... You enjoy riding her, but you don't want your friends to see. <laughs> She's kind of cool looking. It's funny. But, yeah, the back's kind of boring. What? I said the back's kind of just boring. And now it's time to take the space between from Stock Island back around to our slip of the galleon. We may have had a few extra guests on board. And it may have been Stacy's birthday. I may be high. Hello. Hello. What's it? What's it? What do you got? I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna rocket it to you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. She sounds like Brittany Happy from the Chipmunks. And that's our birthday girl, Stacy. <laughs> These fun-loving folks were friends of Kurt and Amanda's. Hey, how come you're not doing? It's our moms and Irish Kevin. Wait, hers is a completely different color than yours. That's because she cheated. She poured her. She cheated. She poured she it in. She cheated. She didn't get it. So for Stacy's birthday, we did the Duval crawl. From Irish Kevin's to First Flight, and then back to the Tiki House. And no crawl would be complete without stopping into Dirty Harry's to see Marty and the Dirt Bags. And even Harry had his mask on. So to see Key West go from a deserted ghost town back to some semblance of normal is a testimony to the resiliency of the people of the Keys. Now we're going to leave you with a new artist that we saw at Hank's, Shastina. Yeah.